Well, since Epic won't make patch notes, here is the officially official patch notes for Chapter 2 Season 2. So, Fortnite's been out for about two years, and have you ever once thought while playing this game that you wanted Fortnite to have NPCs? No? Well, they're in the game! They're basically just bots, but only in certain locations, and you can down them and then shake them down because they're into that BDSM shit, and then see where the chests are in a location. Also, you can use their dying corpses to unlock special chests that have... Wait, is that the heavy sniper? Yeah, it's unvaulted. Why? I don't know. They also vaulted bolt snipers, so fuck you. What else is vaulted? Traps and the P90. Both will be missed by so many people. They seem to listen to the people who hated snipers and traps, but they also unvaulted the heavy sniper, the suppressed snipers, and the hunting rifles. So actually just fuck Cypher PK. Speaking of unvaulted stuff, a few of the unvaulted things are the minigun, the grappler, the drum gun, and the boom bow. Some of the community's most favorite balanced weapons. Except there is only one of each of them in every game. They are also buffed versions of what they were before. They are mythic weapons and you can only get them from specific POIs. The shark has the mythic scar and grappler. The yacht has the mythic AK. The agency has the mythic drum gun. The grotto has the mythic minigun and the rig has the mythic boombo. At each of these places, you can fight the leader NPC to get their mythic weapons. All of these locations are also new POIs, and honestly, it's an incredible map update in my opinion, but be careful landing at any of these, because besides the NPCs that really want to come in your cheeks, you will also get half the lobby trying to do the same. You also can get tons of loot if you get the key card for the vault in a certain POI. Each of these new POIs has a vault, and yeah, they're pretty much stacked with loot. Plus, a lot of these POIs also have very sneaky secret vents for maximum sneakiness. Also, in the vaults, there's a porta potty that you can use and it will TP you to a different location semi nearby. It's pretty weird, but I like it. Okay, anyway, now on to more unvaults and new items. They finally unvaulted mobility. I mean, we have a single grappler in each game, so. That's something. You probably thought the teasers were gonna be about new items, right? Yeah, well, get fucked. This cat yarn ball grenade thing? What the fuck even is this nutsack looking shit? This wheezing looking head ass item. It's a back bling. What's this propane tank? It's a propane tank, retard. What's this nuke thing? Maybe mobility? It's a glider. What's this dildo? It's a yatch. What's this dynamite? I actually have no clue because it's not unvaulted, but the boom boom bitch has it, so I don't know. Anyway, some other unvaults are the suppressed scar, suppressed pistol, suppressed SMG, and C4. I get that it's a spy scene, so the suppressed stuff makes sense, but the C4 screams more terrorist to me, but... I'm all for it. We got boxes now. Why are we still here? And they're basically just sneaky snowmen, but you're a fucking box, okay? Fishing rods don't drop from chests anymore, and fishing holes can always be fished more than once now, just in case you want to stick your rods in more holes. They added a new SMG that's basically an Uzi, but it might suck dick, but it shoots 15 shots per second in the each 215 so it probably sucks, but one of y'all fuckers can get poopied on with it. The last new item is the decoy grenades that have fulfilled my fantasy. They clone you for a short amount of time, and you can use them to make people confuse you with bots, even though there really isn't much to confuse. Oh yeah, and you can yeet the fuck out of heels now, which is pog as fuck. And the last few changes I can find are there's a new kind of rare chest, upgrading weapons takes longer, there's some bug fixes, like the pickup glitch is finally fucking gone, and you can disguise yourself as one of the NPCs, and that's cool. Oh yeah, and they finally got rid of skill-based matchmaking. Oh, yeah. 